Hey y'all! Hey guys. Today we're watching episode 11 of season 1. In my opinion, uh, it is actually the best episode of season 1. Okay. It is such a metaphor for how many high schoolers feel. At times I felt this way. I probably did too. You will find out. I'm gonna find out. Definitely. Harmony. That girl. How is he able to talk and why isn't he bleeding in the mouth? Mm-hmm. a bit of a puzzle, really. I've never actually heard of anyone attacked by a lone baseball bat before. Maybe it's a vampire bat. Uh-huh. I'm low on that one, huh? Don't worry. Why is she always trying to... You would assume that she would think that Cordelia pushed her. Mm -hmm. Harmony and Mitch, the common denominator is. Oh, hey, do you want to come to our place tonight for dinner? Moms make her famous phone call to the Chinese place. Sandra, do you guys even have a story? <laughs> so, Moms make her famous phone call to the Chinese place. <laughs> Exactly so you like Xander. <laughs> A little bit. <laughs> when is alterations taking place in the school? <laughs> right though? Right? It's a really freaking weird place to do this. Oh. Hi Angel. Just in case anyone forgot. It's a good reminder. Mm -hmm. I like it. It's good to tell stories by showing, not telling. Mm. To see her. You've read all the Slayer lore there is, right? The Tiberius Manifesto, the Thagamon Codex. Codex. Unfortunately, the book was lost in the 15th century. Not lost. This place. I can get it. <sighs> Invisible girls. Terrorizing the school. It's not really my area of expertise. <laughs> not mine. Hey! Yeah. Play it again. I know, but did you see this Men in black. Go to her picture. Is her picture not there? So the idea is she felt invisible, so she out now is invisible. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Didn't know Mercy Ross. Never met her. Why? Cause you both wrote it too. Oh snap! 
Have a great summer. See you at Carrot. You guys don't remember? <laughs> no, I, I didn't see her except to sign. I've been investigating the mystical causes of invisibility when I, I should have looked at the quantum mechanical. Yeah, duh. Like, cha. Yeah. Quantum mechanical. I think about I this all the time. And no one noticed her disappearing right in front of everyone? Nobody was noticing her before. Why would they notice if she just disappeared? Great power that she it's pretty control. freaking horrible. Isn't that awful? It's something that was done to her. That we did to her. I, uh, I, I know we've had our differences with you being so weird and all. And you know, <laughs> total losers. I know that you share this feeling that we have for each other. Deep down. Naja? Somebody is <laughs> after me. This is all about me. Me, me, me. Wow, for once she's right. Yes, I was just going to say <laughs> so that. you come to me for help. I don't recall ever seeing you here before. Oh, no, I have a life. <sighs> okay. Uh, Cordelia Tather is an invisible girl. Who is really, really angry. She's, she's so child. terrible. <laughs> she's so awful. <laughs> Well, I don't care what it is, just get rid of it. I also am curious. Where are her parents? Why aren't they like, her daughter's missing. She was invisible to them too. Messages we don't understand. That's a thing. Oh, that's I horrid. She's evil, okay? Way eviler than me. Cordelia has a point. Buffy's with me on this. <laughs> anyway, continuing normal making activities may be the best way to draw Marcy out. We can use Cordelia's bait. Great. <laughs> I don't think Buffy could get away with wearing that shirt in high school. No, no, like I said, there's no dress code in this school. <laughs> you think I'm never lonely because I'm so cute and popular? I can be surrounded by people and be completely alone. I don't even know if they like me half the time. <laughs> they don't. They don't like you. <laughs> they don't. <laughs> can you say... Did you see that coming? Somehow it doesn't seem to matter how popular you are. Like, you know you're popular? In what alternate universe? In the film In LA. universe. The point is, yep. I did sort of feel like something was missing. Is that when you became weird and got your out? Yes. Yes. Just kick down the door. You you can do it. Or you can do that. Why don't you just rip the doorknob off? You didn't have to punch through. You could have just yanked it That girl must be super strong. Yeah. Just pulls Cordelia right up through the ceiling. Maybe she's been working out for months. <laughs> That's what she's been doing. <laughs> they didn't show that other part of, of her little makeshift bedroom there. It's full of weights. And yeah. She's got a weight bench and like a Nordic track across the room. Keep herself in shape. Where'd she get that from? The nurse's office. They keep sedatives like that in the nurse's office? What does that mean? I don't know. Look, listen, learn. One, two, three. Well, I know that the gas is getting to you, but maybe try to help them. <laughs> I think we should start with your smile. I think it should be wider. Marcy, mm -hmm. I know you think I don't understand, but I do. Oh, hey. What's up, yo? Wait, who invited him in? Ooh. Does that rule not apply to him? The no, he's a vampire. He has to be invited. Otherwise, the whole building will go off. Visibility cloak. Um. You can cure her? We can rehabilitate her. Who the hell are these people? Very useful. This isn't the men in black. This has happened, is it? Can I get untied now? No. Leave her. Who are these people? Welcome, Marcy. Hey. Class, this is Marcy. Hi, Marcy. How's it going? 
Okay, class, let's get started. Everybody turn to page 54 of your text. Wow. <laughs> I like that a lot. That's the way a lot of high school kids feel. I mean, they're like, hey, you know, even the popular girl, everybody feels lonely at some point. Yeah, right? and I think that was the moral behind the entire episode. Yes, and it that's was. why Cordelia was like, you don't, even though it was hard to, to get into her logic, she's not wrong. I think the one great thing about the show, but Joss's work in general, but Buffy especially, it's really, truly, there's a moral and a message to the overall grand story arc, and they're all directly in line with what it's like to be a teenager. Like I said, it's my favorite episode of season one. Good insight into particularly one who I didn't care for before. Maybe I like a little more now. But you still she's, don't care for her? No, not really. <laughs> But she's a little more real now. There's listen, a person underneath all that, that. Listen, she's still the kiddie pool, people. She's still a little shallow. This has been another excellent episode of We Watch Reading. And we done watched it.